Welcome students. I'm very excited to teach you this method for doing multiplication. Now, this method, um, the reason I like it is my students picked it up in one lesson. I'm going to show you the old way I used to teach it. The old way, the way you might have learned, the way I learned, that took, it, it takes about two weeks of classroom instructional time to teach this method. And the new way I'm going to show you took exactly one class period. And it's better, easier, it makes more sense, and it makes it's better for mathematical thinking. But let's let's start with the old way, the way you might know, and why it might not be the best way to do multiplication. Let's start with this. 6 times 4, 24, carry the 2. Already, one thing, boop, we've used the wrong terminology. 2, ah, second thing, you must put it in the right spot. If you put the 2 here, you're dead in the water. You, you, you're going to get the wrong answer. So 6 times 4, 24. Now, 8 times 4, second step. 8 times 4, 32, plus 32. Oh, notice I'm saying 32. Wrong. Boop. Should be 320, 320. 32, 33, 34. So 344. Now, the problem with this, you got these little check marks already, four little kind of... Things that aren't necessarily wrong, but difficult for people just learning to really understand. A lot of times students don't get the value of this number. They can't estimate this problem very well either. But let's move on. So now we go to, what do we put zero here? That makes sense. But a lot of teachers tell students to put an X there. Some teachers say don't put anything there. Boop, 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 bam. Man, that is so confusing for students just trying to learn. Now, let's look at going this way. Let's say a student does, this is one of the hardest things for them to get, is that you have to hold this place. Well, why do you have to do it? That's a 70. But it's very hard for students to see that. It's even hard for some adults to see that. Okay, now we're multiplying 70 times 6. All right, so seven. So you got to basically lie about what it is. You have to say 7 times 6 is 42. Carry the 4. Ah, now wait a minute. You have two numbers here that cause confusion. That's a confusion spot. Boop. And is it a 4 or is it a 2? Even if you teach kids to get rid of that, they're still in. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry the 4. 8 times 7, 56. 57, 58, 59, 60. Where do I put the 60? You see the columns. You must get them in the right spot. If you move them along in the wrong spot, for example, if you Forgot that, you might have students doing 602 plus 344. Very common error. Well, why are they making that error? It's because they're not really getting what's going on here. They're not understanding. Uh, they're not becoming math magicians. They're just becoming robots and doing exactly what they've been told. But the new method I'm going to show you, even if you can do this method, you're going to like it a lot better. It will help students to become to get a good sense of numbers, and it's a lot more fun. And my students, oh, look at plus, look at all these things in here. Look at just the confusion of all this. This is such a better way to do it, the way I'm about to show you in the next little video. It's creative, it's fun, it's interesting. It is just, just blew me away. And again, it, from a teaching standpoint, kids get it because it makes more sense. I hope you tune in and I hope you like what you're about to see.